In the movie Beauty and the Beast, the muscle-bound villain Gustan talks about how he ate five dozen eggs every day to get his impressive physique. And while he may just be a cartoon, it got me to thinking, what if I ate one dozen eggs every single day? What would happen? Eggs are said to be the highest quality protein you can buy. Egg protein has just the right mix of essential amino acids needed to build human tissue, and it's second only to mother's milk for human nutrition. Eggs are also said to lead to weight loss with a proper diet. They can lower your blood pressure and can even boost testosterone in men. They're great for your brain, your eyes, and your hair. And while a lot of people worry that eating too many eggs can cause high cholesterol, many studies have actually shown Eggs can improve your good cholesterol. Most of these tests, though, just involved eating three eggs daily. Well, I'm about to put eggs to the test by eating 12 eggs every single day. And with the help of my friends from letsgetchecked.com, I can take blood samples at home and get them checked by mail. So I'll also be checking on changes to my cholesterol and testosterone levels. At the beginning of this experiment, my stats were as follows. Weight, 205.4 pounds. Body fat percentage, 20.7%. Waist measurement, 37 and a half inches. Blood pressure, 127 over 87. Cholesterol, a shocking 253. On a side note, I was completely unaware that my cholesterol was this high when I started this experiment. Thankfully, I decided to check my cholesterol for this video, so now I know. That's the thing about cholesterol. You can look fine to the eye, but with cholesterol, you just never know. But more about this in a future video. Just to know, it's good to get it checked so you know and you can take care of it before it's too late. My HDL, which is your good cholesterol, was 48. My total triglycerides were 147. My LDL, which is your bad cholesterol, was 189. My HDL percentage of total was 18.8. And my testosterone level was 766. I'll be carefully monitoring my calorie intake activity levels, and sleep using my Fitbit to give you a precise peek into my life during this experiment. All right, let's get to cracking. For breakfast each morning, I like to poach the eggs. This allowed me to refrigerate them and it saved me a lot of time. I could then easily eat them while I was at work. And I'd start out by just doing four a morning, but found it was easier to eat the eggs when they were poached. So I upped it to 12 each morning. For dinner, I tried a variety of different ways to eat the eggs. I cooked them sunny side up, scrambled, fried, I made omelets, and I even made egg tacos. As you can see, I didn't just eat eggs, I also ate other food with the eggs. With these egg tacos, I added some corn shells, some sausage, some cheese, and some onions. Throughout this experiment, I kept my calories around 2,000 a day. 12 eggs equals roughly 840 calories, so they were about half of my overall diet. But towards the end of this experiment, I was so sick of eggs. I started to just say, screw it, I'm gonna get all 12 of these eggs out in one meal. Honestly, by the end of this challenge, I swore that I'd never eat another egg. But it was funny because after taking a day off, I was actually in the mood for eggs again. So after seven days of eating 12 eggs a day, I got back my initial cholesterol test, which is when I discovered that I had high cholesterol and I decided that I better call this challenge off because I wasn't sure how this would affect my cholesterol further. So here are my results from eating a dozen eggs a day for seven days, and that's 84 eggs in total. And we'll first start out with my weight. Over the course of seven days, I was able to lose 3.8 pounds, and that's 1.72 kilograms. According to my scale, my water weight went up slightly and my body fat percentage went down 0.8%. So I conclude that my weight loss during this experiment was mostly fat. My waist also saw a noticeable decrease in size in just seven days, decreasing by one and a half inches, and that's nearly four centimeters. While eating eggs, I certainly did notice that my midsection slimmed down and the amount of fat in this area definitely decreased. I also saw a slight change in my blood pressure. After one week of eggs, it went down from 127 over 87 to 120 over 88. Now this brings us to what stopped me from proceeding with this experiment any further and that was how it was already affecting my high cholesterol. And it's a good thing that I stopped after one week because my cholesterol was not improving and was only getting worse. 
My cholesterol went from an already high 253 to an even higher 276. My HDL, the good cholesterol, did see a slight improvement, going from 48 to 52. So eggs did indeed increase my good cholesterol, but it was only ever so slightly. My total triglycerides dropped from 147 to 116. This was likely due to the fact that I was eating less sugary foods because I was substituting eggs for those foods instead. And when it came to my LDL, my bad cholesterol, I saw a jump from 189 to 215. My HDL percentage stayed the same. And when it came to my testosterone, it was the most surprising. I saw it lower over my preliminary reading by 121 points. Though it must also be mentioned that testosterone levels can fluctuate quite a bit during the day, you can see this by this chart from the University of Louisville. I did, however, take this test at the exact same time on the exact same day. When it comes to eating a dozen eggs a day, the results were definitely mixed for me. I certainly did lose weight and my waist shrunk, and I had minor improvements to part of my cholesterol profile, but eggs did continue to raise my bad cholesterol, and it also lowered my testosterone level. At the end of the movie Beauty and the Beast, the muscle-bound villain Gustan dies in an untimely death, and to avoid the same fate, I definitely recommend that you do not eat a dozen eggs a day. But hey, that's just my opinion. You do what you want. Thanks for watching.